Hello Aquarius, this is your reading for the 7th through the 13th. This is an X reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Let's see, if you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Thank you guys. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Mm. A lot of you have been thinking about um, your next steps, what your path is, where should you go, what should you do interested in something but mm, not feeling very confident about it I get okay let's see something you guys feel like you know the truth surrounding somewhere um, I feel like you guys will be victorious you're feeling like you know involving yourself in this situation with this person um, I feel you think that this will bring you your ultimate um, happiness, like, you know, your true potential is what I'm getting here. There's something that you guys have realized here about this connection, and I feel like, you know, there's something that you've learned um, about... A situation and maybe you guys have had a conversation with the other person regarding what actually hurt the both of you here okay maybe somebody was not you know devoting enough time and energy into this connection to really make it happen and somebody was kicking against it not really telling the truth not being honest kind of being elusive you know that sort of thing but I think you know there's something about this situation that you guys um, have realized and um, that's where you're at right now. Let's see what's going on with your ex. Hmm, I see the moon there. Hmm. This person's not really sure. Like, you're sure of something here. There's something that you've realized, but this person's kind of, you know, in and out, wishy-washy a little bit. Let's see what's going on with him. Five of Wands. Yeah, they're conflicted. They don't really know what's going on. Um, they don't have the clarity that you have. Okay, um, they're still kind of kicking against whatever it is. If you guys have had a discussion, um, they still have like an opposing viewpoint is what I'm getting here. They still want something different or something more or, you know, something like that. And they probably have voiced that to you that they want something more. Okay, so let's see what your perception of your ex is here. Maybe that they're worrying too much. I saw the nine of swords there. That they want too much. Um, their expectations are a little bit too high, maybe. Let's see how you perceive your ex. How does mm, Aquarius perceive their ex? The nine of pentacles. Um, maybe you think they're, they're happy being single. Um, that they want to be single, that their actions are proving that, you know, they must want to be by themselves. And I'm getting that because it's like, you know, I saw that, um, you know, the Ace of Swords, you've learned something here. Okay. And you feel like you know the truth surrounding a situation. And maybe you guys feel like you've, you've given, you know, your all to this situation and this person just wants more and more and more. So, you know, it's like... Maybe they're just not happy with anybody. Maybe they just want to be single. Okay. Maybe they're good by themselves here. Make themselves happy. Okay. So let's see <laughs> how your ex perceives you. Very kind of smart alecky, but nevertheless, it's like, you know, their actions, I mean, that's what it's telling you. Let's see how your ex perceives you. Maybe trying to gain some harmony in your life, not trying to be bothered with bull crap, stuff that does not make any sense to you. They perceive you as being happy by yourself, um, fulfilling yourself, you know, working, concentrating on uh, yourself, okay? So they feel like you're very defensive, that you're standing by what it is that you believe and, and you're not willing to negotiate, okay? That's how they perceive you. Maybe they feel like you guys have blocked them, okay? Hmm, yeah. Maybe. Let's see how you're feeling. What are your feelings about getting back together here? How does Aquarius feel about getting back together? How does Aquarius feel about getting back together here? Maybe a Leo you guys are dealing with or a Virgo. How does Aquarius feel about getting back together? I think you're tired. Hmm. 
part of you wants to continue, but a part of you just wants to freaking give up is what I'm getting here. Hmm. You just want stability um, either way. I feel like, um, you know, you would be willing to get back together with this person, but only if it can be like this calmness, like you're not always butting heads. You want to come out of this five of wands, you know, and go back to the four of wands where it's like stable and you guys have fun together and you enjoy each other's company and you're not always butting heads and disagreeing and, you know, that sort of thing. So I think you're definitely open to it, but I think you just want, um, you want some something serene. You you want peace is what I'm getting from you guys. Let's see how they feel about getting back together. They have the magician when I broke the deck. How does Aquarius' ex feel about getting back together here? Aquarius' ex, how do they feel about getting back together? This person definitely loves you and you love them too. Maybe they're just a little extra sometimes. Gemini energy there. Definitely. Definitely. They, they definitely want to get back together. I feel like they just want things their way is what I'm getting here. Definitely love you. Definitely feel like you guys belong together here. Um, I feel like this person would definitely get near to you if they... Um, definitely. Definitely. But I think they want you to give in a little. They want you to, you know, not be so, not stand your ground on certain things that they would like um, for you to change or whatever. This person does not want to be single. They don't. They want to be with you. But they want you to give a little. They want you to give in a little, you know. Okay. So let's see what you guys can do. So the Pentasaurus there to um, pull this thing back together. Okay. Ten of Swords, of course, let down ego, letting things go, letting things be, forgiving um, situations, kind of like bending, compromising, even changing, transforming situations. Let's see what you guys can do to bring this back together. Nine of Cups. Hmm. Wish fulfillment. Be happy. Make yourself happy. Um, you know, I'm just getting that. Um, maybe there, maybe there's like a little lesson that needs to be learned here. Okay, and maybe it's it's to you know put the focus on you. Maybe you guys have been giving a little too much attention, you know, to the other person, to the connection. Um, start focusing more on you. Okay, take some of your energy away from this situation and then see how it, it pans out. Okay, it's what I'm getting from this. Letting down the ego for sure, letting down the ego mm -hmm. and, and not doing things like to spite the other person, but you know, just taking care of you, focusing on you, not trying to always please the other person, do what they want you to do, you know, this, that, and the other. So Let's see what they can do to increase the chances of you guys getting back together here. What can Aquarius' ex do to increase the chances of getting back together? Let's see. Mm, the Hierophant. I think they need to learn a thing or two. Okay? Um, and they need to do what's good for all. Hierophant teaches, they learn, they share their knowledge with others, okay? And I think there's something, they need to share, um, they need to share the floor. <laughs> they need to allow somebody else to, you know, to teach them something. They need to be open to learning other things from other people, that their ideas of how things should be, it, you know, may not be the way to go you know i think maybe it's to kind of they want you to let down your barrier but i feel like there's a need for them to let down theirs as well i feel like this ten of swords it, it applies to both of you letting down your egos and seeing things from you know both points of view is what i'm getting from this okay that king of swords stays there under the bottom of the deck um you know just trying to 
look at things from a reasonable standpoint, I feel. The situation in general, okay? From both sides. Let's see what the possible outcome is for you guys getting back together. What is a possible outcome here? Let's see the Ten of Swords again here. Possible outcome. Maybe it's once, you, once both of you, you know, kind of really sit down and have a talk and come to, you know, a conclusion, a compromise here. Possible outcome. Hmm. That is weird because the death comes up in reverse. And all my other cards are, if you can see, are in the upright. Um, but for this week, there's nothing that's going to change. Okay. So again, I feel like you guys, you know, take care of yourself. Focus on yourself more. Okay. That's what I'm getting here. Because for right now, it remains the same. All right, so we have Scorpio, Taurus, Gemini, Aries, Pisces, Virgo, um, a Leo energy. Could be any other sign, guys, but that's just the energy I see present. 